tutorial in this tutorial we will see how we can give a limit on associative data so for example we have two tables one is called article and another is called comments an article has many relation with uh, comments so let's see the structure first so here you can see the articles table and article tables has id name created and modified fields and you can see the comments table and this is the same almost same id comment and this is the foreign k article id that i have given and is the created and the modified field so first we will create a has been a relation between articles and comments so for that i'm just going in cacphp source and in this source i'm just going to open my model and this is the table and this is the article tables so here in line 50 to after the 52 i'm just going to copy this line and just paste it in here and you can see cacphp has a method called has many and in this has many method i'm just uh, going to give the name of my uh, comments to make a has many relation so this is the comments that i have given and the foreign key is article id so we know that in our uh, comments table there is an article table a article id uh, uh, and it's a foreign key so after that i'm just going in articles controller and in this article controller i'm just going in index method so here i'll just write a very simple query to fetch the article with comments so it will just fetch the corresponding comments with articles so i'm just taking a variable called article and i'm just uh, writing very simple query this articles find and then for get the associative data i'm just using contain so we know that in tech php we are able to fetch associative data using contain method so in this content method i'm just going to mention the relational name the comments that i'm just pasting in here and after save if you just uh, debug this article and then if you just exit in here you should see your articles query in here so you can see the URL, a URM object you are sh showing in here you will just uh, we, 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 if you want to see the data in here you just uh, can convert it to array so I'm just using catfish fit to array to display the array in here so now you can see that there is two articles the same like as our database has two articles so these two articles actually displaying in here and in the first article there is a comments and in this comments you can see this comments has three comments array in here array object in here so if you see in here this is the comments these three comments and all these comments under the article id one and you are seeing this article id uh, under this article id one you are seeing the three comments in here so now if you want to make a limit in here for example you don't want to display the all comments uh, corresponding this article you just want to display the recent two comments in here so you can just uh, for that you just need to write a very simple query in here so this is the content that we have written we can we just uh, we can just use a very simple callback function in here and in this callback function i'm just taking a parameter called q and i'm just returning here return this q and this limit is two so after semicolon if you just save and just see the output and just reload your page you will see that comments now has made two so out of three we are displaying only the two comments in here using this limit method so in this callback we also able to mention the order for example here i have given a one condition 
I'm just want to give another condition for uh, order so this is the limit now if you want to give here the order and in this order if you just typing this comments dot created and this created comment will be descending order and if you just save and just go and reload your page you can see there has the id1 so now if you reload let's see now the comments you can see the id2 now displaying in here so the order and limit both are working fine so this is actually the two days tutorial that how you can apply a condition in contain and also how you can apply the limit in contain so thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next tutorial